So I'm sitting at someone's house. I'm eating the challah. It's great. So complimentary. Eating some stuffed cabbage. All of a sudden, like in the middle of the meal, she just said, oh, by the way, all this food's been frozen for six months. Like it's been in the deep freeze. I'm sitting there like, like Demolition Man. Sylvester Stallone just rises up. He's been in, frozen for 60 years. You know, you ever see the movie Sleepers with Woody Allen from the 60s? Great movie. So why do women feel the need to brag about their frozen food tasting amazing? Seriously. I'm si Countless times I've been sitting there like, oh, the soup is from Pesach. It's November. I don't understand it. So I was, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess it's like the, the prowess of their deep freezing abilities. Because seriously, every from woman, their dream this is how they know they moved up. The sign's getting one of those fridges that blends into the cabinets, <laughs> filled with Lieber's like like uh, potato chips or something. Their favorite thing is having one of those freezers that like you open up and there's just stacks of meat in there, and frozen like little tins of like kugels and sweet potato like like cobbler. How did apple cranberry cobbler become become a kugel? How did this happen? I know, this is totally different, but seriously, these, these women make desserts and call them kugel and serve them in a normal meal. I don't want to eat chicken with apple pie. Yet, if they put it in a kugel tray, they call it kugel. There's no difference, except that it's warm most of the time and they call it cobbler or it's crunch or kugel. It shouldn't be a kugel. But let me get back to the deep freeze. I'm chilling with my friend last night and his, uh, his wife, like seriously, that's what she wants. You know, you can have a car, you can have a new computer, maybe a new TV. No, I want a deep freezer. I'm like, you have one kid. You're not entertaining for 60 people. You're not like a Chabad house in the middle of nowhere that you have to buy a truckload of meat in order to supply yourself for the next year. No. I was thinking, it's, it's kind of like one of those things, you know how like, when, for men, I don't know if women do this, but whenever someone comes up and they're like, dude, that's a nice tie. And I say, yeah, I got it for three bucks. <laughs> Just to like brag, you know, like, yeah, you paid 10, but I paid three. It's like a very Jewish thing to do, but I don't know. It, 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 it seems very similar. It's, it's so Jewish to say like, ha, I didn't go and make fresh food. I don't have time for that. I'm making babies, but I froze my food. It's lasted so long. See, it's like petrified. Petrified matzo